This is why Disney is tanking with every single one of their movies that comes out over the last several years. Disney doesn't care how much you like something or how much money something has made them. All they care about is taking whatever it is that has gotten them to where they are now and 34,000 one-star reviews. Hmm, Barbie. Oh, Barbie. I remember playing with Barbies. Wait, no, 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 I didn't, I didn't. One thing that happened is that this movie was given to someone named Greta Gerwig. Greta Gerwig is one of the most, see they want to get you to think that this is just the biggest thing ever. Now we come to the final movie here and this one is an absolute shocker and I'm gonna show you why right now. You know, even saying the name of this movie could get this video taken down. <laughs> Hey, would you mind hitting that subscribe button and being a part of this community with us? I would love to hear from you on a regular basis. And if you wouldn't mind hitting that thumbs up button, you know, when you like this video, YouTube will push it out to more people and it would really help spread this message. Howdy y'all, I'm Brylan. You know, the entertainment industry is in a huge mess right now, obviously. Everything they're putting out is absolute garbage. It all has to meet the same woke criteria. Movie after movie comes out and bombs, but there's always an excuse for why. No, it actually did well, they want to tell us. Well, I'm gonna show you in this video why that's not the truth. And I'm gonna show you some things about the biggest movies out right now that the industry doesn't want you to know. We're gonna look at The Little Mermaid, Elemental, Indiana Jones, Barbie, and a super secret special movie that I'm going to reveal at the end of this video. And it's a shocker what you're going to find out about this movie. Let's jump right into The Little Mermaid. Now, The Little Mermaid is one of the latest disasters for Disney. Disney is on an unprecedented a train wreck right now. Everything that Disney does is declining right now. Attendance at their parks. You know the attendance at Disneyland and Disney World are lower today than they were in the smack dab of middle of the pandemic? Literally, in 2020, there were more people waiting in lines at Disneyland than there are today. It's nuts. Everything Disney does is bombing and it, they, I don't know, they just can't help it. And one of the latest examples is Little Mermaid. Let's check out the Little Mermaid, their budget, okay? Disney had a budget of $250 million for the Little Mermaid. On top of that, Disney had over $200 million in advertising, marketing for the movie. And you can see here, that if you add those numbers up, 250 million plus over 200 million, that comes out to 470. They had almost $500 million to make The Little Mermaid. And to break even, they would have to make almost $600 million. Right now, worldwide, The Little Mermaid is sitting at about $556 million worldwide, 296 in the US. Now the movie I'm going to show you at the end was only released in the US and I'm going to show you how it blows all these huge budget movies away with a budget that was about uh, anywhere from 10 to 20 times less than what these movies were. So you can see that Disney is barely breaking even with The Little Mermaid. What's funny is you can see here 7.2 on IMDb. Hmm. That actually seems kind of high when you look at the fact that it got a 66 on Rotten Tomatoes and a 59 on Metacritic. So you go and you look at the reviews on IMDb, 34,000 one-star reviews. Hmm, completely outweighing any other review. And then you look at this unusual activity. Our, our rating mechanism has detected unusual voting activity on this title to preserve the reliability of our rating system. An alternate weighting calculation has been applied. Hmm. They're literally telling you that more people have given this movie a bad review 
So we have to take away those bad reviews in order to give it the number that we want you to think it has. And when you go down here, it says unweighted originally that the movie should be a 4.8 so i don't know if when you add that number a 48 so when you add that number a 48 a 66 a 59 yeah it seems to match more of what the industry is saying that this movie really stinks and it's funny because you see this title here little mermaid swimming against strong tides at overseas box office leaving break even in question so they're even questioning, is this movie going to break even? Are we even going to make our money back? No, they're not going to actually. Because no one wants to see this garbage anymore. This movie is a woke disaster. They've changed everything that people liked about The Little Mermaid, which they're doing in all their movies. They're changing what people actually... They're literally changing history. They're saying, this character that you have grown to love, it no longer exists. Now that person is who we think should fit the current climate in our culture. Another major movie that came out by Disney recently is Elemental. Now this movie is a, a complete disaster in every single way. And I'm going to show you why. So here's Elemental's budget, $200 million. Now this estimation is actually wrong. It's about $245 million just to make the movie. And when you estimate the marketing on there as well, this movie is pushing $500 million to make. Disney is clamoring. Watch our movie, please. They're dumping, in some cases, more money into trying to tell you to watch their movie than they actually spent on the movie. Imagine spending $200 million making a movie that nobody wants to see and then spending another $200 million telling them to go see it and then finally some people go see it and it's not enough. Here we are worldwide. This movie made $356 million. Now these aren't little numbers. This is nothing to gawk at, but when you spent $500 million to make a movie and you only make $356 million in the entire world, I, I'm, not, I'm not that good at math, but $500 million 356 million, uh, um, um, <laughs> um, I think it. it's less. It, they lost money on this movie. Why? Because people are sick and tired of the woke garbage. This movie ticks every box that you could possibly tick as far as the new ESG, the new world order type stuff, inclusivity, all the garbage. They tick every box. And you can see down here that even the Metascore, e even though they tick every box with this movie, the Metascore, critics, 58 out of 100. They don't care about making movies that are moving or that touch you in a deep way or that have some sort of substantial plot line that gets you to care about it or characters that actually have life and love written into them none of that matters anymore it all comes down to an agenda an indoctrination that they desperately want your children to fall into and so you can see a 7.1 out of 10 of course that's with the extra special unweighted scale so this movie really is sitting down in uh, much lower than that. This is why Disney is tanking with every single one of their movies that comes out over the last several years. For the last like four years straight, every Disney movie has just been doing horrible, way under their expectations. This film, Elemental, features first non-binary character tanks at the box office. This movie, Elemental, is nothing but a propaganda piece. This is all this movie is. In fact, this website, Plugged In, which does Christian reviews of movies and tells you how they rate in terms of adults, teens, and kids, and whether you know you, you feel your kids should watch them or not. When you check out their Set Chihuahua content, you can see here it says Wade's sister who is reported to identify as non-binary. Now, this is 
already been confirmed. This isn't reported. At the time of this, it was like rumor. But since this, yeah, it's been completely confirmed that this is what this character is. You watch the movie, you see that. And uh, you can see that they're Jay and they sit next to their girlfriend at the family dinner table. And there appears to be other same sexual couples in some scenes who dance and kiss. And you can see, yeah, it's obvious that this movie is a propaganda machine for Disney and they're ticking all the boxes in this movie and they finally did it. They did everything that they've always wanted to do in a movie in, in terms of ultimate wokeness and it completely backfired. Indiana Jones. What a movie this was. Um, you know, Indiana Jones, obviously, everybody loves Indiana Jones. However, again, Disney doesn't care how much you like something or how much money something has made them. All they care about is taking whatever it is that has gotten them to where they are now and destroying it and doing everything they can to make sure that it's a shell of what it once was so that they can crush that shell and bury it under the earth. That's what Disney is, they're, they're literally on an escapade. Escapade, 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 escalade. Their main goal is to destroy all of their franchises. And they're doing that with Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. Now, this has a 6.8 score on here. Uh, that's with the special rated scale that factors in taking out all the people that don't like the movie. And you can see down here, 58 Metascore. These are getting horrible reviews, you guys. Now you look at the budget for this movie. This is one of the highest budgets they've ever spent on a movie, Disney. Almost $300 million. Look at this. Almost $300 million. And the movie in the US made $160 million with the worldwide being $335 million. Now you better believe that that marketing budget has taken this number way above 300 million. You're talking four to 500 million at least for this movie uh, in, in total. They're grossing worldwide, throughout the entire world, $335 million. Now, no, it's not all about the money, but yeah, to these people it is all about the money and money talks. And you can see that people aren't spending money on movies like they used to. Look at this, Indiana Jones, 6.8 out of 10, a 68% on Rotten Tomatoes. That's a horrible score, if you didn't know. Collider reported that the film would need to gross 600 million to avoid losing money and a whopping $800 million to turn a slight Profit. For comparison, the highest grossing Indiana Jones film to date is Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, which took, which took in $778 million. Again, they're at about $335 million with declining viewers. This movie is not going to make its money back. This movie is not going to reach $800 million to turn a slight profit. Nobody wants to see this movie. It's a horrible movie. They've completely turned Indiana Jones into a husk of a man in order to put a woman at the spotlight uh, in this movie. Reviews confirm the worst woke fears about Indy's dial of destiny. This movie is an absolute propaganda piece as well. Everything has to have an agenda in Hollywood now, unfortunately and they're paying the price for it. But again, they don't necessarily care about losing money right now as long as their indoctrination is taking effect. And they don't care if you change your mind necessarily. I mean, they would like that. They're trying. But they know that if they can get your children at a young age to get sucked into all this and be indoctrinated by this woke insanity, right is wrong and wrong is right, then they know your children will grow up to be their minions and do their evil bidding. Barbie. Oh, Barbie. I remember playing with Barbies. Wait. No, 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 I didn't, I didn't. You know, Barbie is one of the biggest names on planet Earth. 
This movie sold tickets literally because it's called Barbie. It doesn't matter if it was a blank screen for two and a half hours. People were going to spend money to go watch a movie called Barbie. One thing that happened is that this movie was given to someone named Greta Gerwig. Greta Gerwig is one of the most incredibly insane feminists on planet Earth. Self-described, by the way. She has taken Barbie and completely obliterated what Barbie is, I guess. Now, I'm not saying I'm a fan of Barbie, uh, and, and I think that they have completely lost their minds recently, especially. I mean, Mattel, the creators of Barbie, the ones who make Barbies, are you know they're they're a part of this indoctrination stuff as well but they've literally given their property the the rights to make a barbie movie to which barbies are geared towards very young girls like children young child girls and given it to someone who has decided to make a movie that is doesn't fit any crowd whatsoever. And in fact, this movie's definitely not made for kids. I mean, it's PG-13, so obviously. You can go read the Plugged In review for Barbie and you can see all of the things that they added into this movie, uh, all the indoctrination they've added in. There's just too much to go over in this video. But one of the main things I wanna point out is that this movie clearly has LGB written all over it throughout the movie. And you even have this person here playing a Barbie, a twan Barbie. And they make it very clear that there is a twan Barbie in the movie. So it's like, we get it, right? Uh, th this Barbie isn't really a girl Barbie, but it's still a Barbie and it's, but it's still a real Bar. We get it. We get it. We get it. What's hilarious is you'll see headlines like this. Gerwig makes history as Barbie scores biggest opening weekend ever. Wow, that's incredible. Oh, wait. For a female director. Oh, come on. See, they want to get you to think that this is just the biggest thing ever. And yeah, it's going to make some waves at the beginning. But I think you're going to notice as people go and watch this movie, as people go and see it and see the act, like the, the absolute indoctrination in this movie, the, the, the feminist indoctrination, the LGB, the anti-male stance, that you're going to see people walk away and go, wow, they just literally ruined something that was a part of my childhood. And they and I paid them to do it. I, I paid them to ruin something for me. Beckett Cook, who actually came out of the LGB community, he has a YouTube channel, and he actually did a great breakdown of this movie. I'm not going to do full reviews of these movies. It's just, I just don't have time to do that. Beckett Cook did a great breakdown and review of the new Barbie movie. So I think you should go check out Beckett Cook's video on the new Barbie movie to get a deeper insight into the indoctrination that is riddled throughout this movie. But I want to point this out as well. Check this out. Greta Gerwig says she's properly scared to tackle Netflix Narnia films. Yeah, you read that right. Greta Gerwig now has the rights. Amazon has given Greta Gerwig Narnia. So now Greta Gerwig gets to ruin Narnia for everybody. Literally, these people do not understand that you give a movie to Greta Gerwig and she's going to twist it and manipulate it and, and, and smash it and mold it into something that it's not. And she's going to turn it into a propaganda piece. She literally just takes movies, existing properties, and ruins them. Yet these companies are clamoring for her to ruin their next property. It's a sickness. This, this whole thing is a sickness. And then you keep reading and it says, she addresses the prospect of directing a Bond, a James Bond movie. Now we come to the final movie here. And this one is an absolute shocker. And I'm gonna show you why right now. You know, even saying the name of this movie could get this video taken down. That's how much of an attack has come against this movie because of the message that it uh, portrays. 
because it disrupts an entire industry, a disgusting, disgusting industry. And I want to show you something about this movie that is absolutely surprising. And it should really be an eye opener that people might be waking up and saying, hold on a second. Wait, I, I don't want to be indoctrinated. I don't want to continue to give money to these propaganda machines. And the more and more you see movies like Barbie, and you see movies like Little Mermaid, and, and you see D Indiana Jones, Disney, taking all their old IP and ruining them, the less people are going to spend on future installments of those things. Because they're going to go, wait, you, you fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice... Shame on me. I pray that people will not continue to fall for this garbage. Stop giving money to these insane, woke companies. And you're seeing that with this movie here. Look at the budget for this movie. This is absolutely fascinating. This movie had an, a budget of about $15 million. Okay? And <laughs> look at this. Um, they raised about $5 million, okay, to market this movie, to advertise it. So you add $5 million to $15 million, it's about $20 million total sunk into this movie being made. Look at its opening here. It's made almost $125 million. That's just in the U.S. and Canada. This movie has not been released throughout the entire world like the rest of these movies. Now remember, the rest of these movies have budgets of two, three, up to $500 million, including everything. And they're either not even coming close to breaking even, or they're just starting to break even, but they're not actually going to turn a profit. This movie, about $20 million into the total package of this movie, and they walked away with $125 million just in the U.S. Absolutely smashing, smashing Disney. Indiana Jones, Little Mermaid. Give this movie a worldwide release, which they plan on doing. But again, they don't have the hundreds of millions of dollars to put into this movie to push it out everywhere on earth like these other companies do. Yet they are actually, they're, they're absolutely smashing records. Yet you'll see that this movie is being touted as a conspiracy theory. Look at this headline. Here are the right wing figures from Twump to Bannon championing the surprise hit as if, so this movie is bad because Orge Man liked it. Why right wing conspiracy theorists are embracing Sound of Freedom. Oh, they're just embracing it. Nobody else on earth is except for the bad right wing conservatives and Christians and anybody with a moral compass likes this movie. They're bad. This is all indoctrination. So when a movie like this does well, that tells a legitimate story with no propaganda in it, it the media can't handle it. No, this is a conspiracy theory. This is propaganda. And instead, now the entire media is sent out like a, like a raging pack of ravenous wolves to attack this movie because they can't stand that it is blowing away the movies that have the propaganda and indoctrination woven throughout them. This movie is annihilating expectations and people are giving it excellent reviews an eight out of ten now it's funny because remember i showed you that unweighted scale this has a weighted score of about eight out of ten so you come down to this unweighted scale and it's an 8.8 .8. wait the other movies had a much lower unweighted scale score yet with this movie the score is actually higher when it's just fairly what people are actually rating it the score is higher hmm why is that happening? The industry is full of corruption. The industry is full of indoctrination. The industry is full of propaganda. They want you to believe right is wrong, wrong is right. And it's being woven into absolutely everything. In fact, I'll throw in a bonus for you here. Remember the Super Mario Bros. movie? People loved this movie. Check this out. 
This movie had a $100 million budget. Just like all the other Disney movies and the Barbie movie, this movie had a $100 million budget. Yet, it made over a billion dollars when all was said and done. Because there was no propaganda in this movie. Now, they spent $80 million on marketing for the Super Mario Bros. So, technically, it was about $180 million they spent on the Mario movie. Yet, they still made over a billion dollars. Why? This movie did not have any propaganda in it. It had no indoctrination in it. They just took Mario, the beloved Mario, and made a movie that was Mario. The same Mario everybody loves. They didn't add anything or take anything away. There was no agenda behind this movie. They weren't trying to appease the insane wokesters. No, they just said, let's make a movie we think people who love Mario will love. And that's what they did. And you can see that they hated that. And the critics, 59, because there was no agenda. And literally, you read some of the critic reviews, and they're like, this movie could have been better if it was more inclusive. And they say all the key buzzwords. And that's why they didn't like it. Yet 95% of the over 10,000 verified ratings, 95% audience score. People love this movie. So hey, let's stop supporting these movies, these companies that are putting out these agenda-filled movies that are literally being made to try to indoctrinate you. And if they can't get you, then they'll indoctrinate your children so that your children can grow up to be their evil minions. And you know what? For a while, it seemed like they were winning. But you look at the numbers and people are starting to wake up and stop supporting this kind of garbage for entertainment. You're literally paying somebody to tell you that you're a horrible person, to try to change who you are intricately. And we're just okay with that? No, not for long. So let's stop giving these companies money and start standing on the word of God and never waver from the truth. But hey, let me know your thoughts about all this in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. And if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button and being a part of this community, I would love to hear from you regularly. And please hit that thumbs up button. You know, when you like this video, it'll get pushed out to more people and it would really help spread this message. And check out the description underneath this video where you'll find a link for the Daily Grace Company, where you can find some incredible Bible study tools to help you grow in the Word of God. And you'll also see a link called Shop Our Merch where you can check out some of our biblically inspired clothing. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.